Hi everybody, it's Ellen, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little basket. Um, perfect, just in time for Easter. Um, it's all made on one loom, and we put it together. Uh, the only thing is that when we do put it together, the bottom is open, so we have to close that. Or you could just leave it open too, that's up to you. Or you could find a different way to close the bottom than how I show you to do it. Um, I even made some cute little Easter eggs to put in my basket. So I'm going to show you how to make this. I'll try and put it here so you can see it a little bit. So we have our loom. Um, it's just set up in the regular pattern. Um, so pretty much anybody can make this. I don't take it apart or do anything crazy with it. And first we're going to make the handle, and what it is is double banded, and we're going to go up in a zigzag pattern up the loom um, for 12 bands. So So just make sure that you have the 12 bands, like that, and then um, we need an end cap here, just did two bands, double wrapped. Like so, then we're actually going to loom this out, so turn your loom around, so it's just a double single bracelet or however you call that I guess. like that, and then just stop there. And we're actually going to turn our loom around, and if you pop off the end cap, then we're going to lay some more bands up in a zigzag pattern, uh, which is going to be for this decorative little ball thing around the top of the basket. It's just one band, and we'll start right here and just go all the way up should be 13 bands when you're done Like that. So now what we're going to do is come back to this first part that we made. You'll stick your hook in the open end and remove it from the loom. It's kind of stretched out a little bit. It kind of goes sideways since it's been on the loom. And then we're going to come back to our other part up here. I'm just going to turn sideways here so it's easier to see. So my red arrow is down here. And what we're going to do is the open end that we have here, we're going to 
put up here as an end cap. So wrap both those bands around as an end cap. Now this end over here that has the double banded end cap, you're going to um, basically count over six. So um, not including this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to stretch this and set that on that pin. Like that. So when our handle, when we take it off the loom, it should be in the center. So the open end over here as an end cap, and then the double banded end cap from the bracelet um, we put here. Now, to add the little decorations, I'm just going to turn my loom back the other way again. Um, we're just going to take two bands and triple loop them around um, all the pins, except for the first one and the last one. So, two bands, triple looped. Um, you can do double looped, it just has a looser look to it. These ones are triple, and these are triple, and this crazy one, um, these were triple, no these are, well these were three bands, but they were doubled, so a little bit different. So um, just drop your um, two bands triple looped what I'm going to do. Um, if you want a pattern, um, just realize this turns into a straight row as you go around. So, And I didn't triple loop that well. These bands are not very stretchy. I think I need to switch my green bands. They're just not quite stretchy enough to do three bands, three loops. Sorry about that. And I'm just doing an alternating purple and blue, so I'm just going to go all the way up with purple. Okay, so all of our end caps, so a little start right here, and then um, 12, 12 totals, um, then our end cap from our basket handle is on these pins. So we'll turn around and loom this. Just go in through the end cap here, grab that bottom band, and pull it over.
it is a little tight. But if you think it's too tight, just pull the band up a little bit and then use your fingers to stretch it out the rest of the way. There's a lot of bands on this pin. like that. So while this is loomed, now we're going to take this off. So you can stick your hook in here. And when you take it off, try and take it off. Like pull these off. If you just pull straight up, um, you might break these bands. So just pull off the little dots. So you can stretch it out, um, take a look at it, like right here, my white band has gone kind of crooked, so just pull those back up. Let's check your other ones. This one's goofy. So just switch it around to the other side. So that's in the center. Like that. And then we'll just put a clip on this to keep it secure for now. Now we'll lay the bands for the basket. So back to our loom. And we're going to lay the bands, which in this one is green. Sorry. The green bands is what we're going to lay first. And we're just going to go all the way up the right side of the loom. Like that. Then come back to the beginning. And now we'll be laying what is the light blue color on here. And this will be just a zigzag up these two rows here. These are just one band, by the way. I didn't mention that. Just go all the way to the end, like that. Just kind of push these down. Like 
so. And now we're going to lay basically another zigzag. I'll try using these bands. Sorry, it's the dark blue on the basket. All the way to the end, like that. So I'm just Push these down again. And now we're going to go back and take this piece that we made and we're going to fit it onto this row. Oops. Sorry, I just realized I didn't go all the way to the end right here for whatever reason. end, all the way to the end. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to have the, um, since we want as little C-clips as possible, we're going to have the um, open end down here so that we'll loom it in. We won't need an extra C-clip. Uh, when you're putting this on, we kind of lay it this way on the loom, make sure your handle is sticking to the right um, if, as long as you have your loom positioned the same way I do. Um, that way the handle will be on the correct side of the basket. So first though, this one we kind of twist it a little bit because we have to get it on the pin. So just get the end cap over and then there's a little twist and we turn this to its side. So we have the little dot between the two pins and then the open part right here is over the pin. And you just do that all the way down the loom, making sure that your handle part is on the right or hanging off the loom. So like that. Our handle. So now what we're going to do is just loom out. Um, if you want, you can just take this C-clip off right now or whatever you use to hold this. Because it'll get loomed in and we won't have to worry about it falling apart. So starting, um, basically we've created end caps here. So we're just going to go in through here and we're going to loom out the first row over to the left. So go in through, pull those bands and loom them over. We'll just do that all the way down the loom.
last one here. Just like that. Then come back to the beginning and we'll loom out the next row the same way. Go in through the end caps we created here and loom them over to the left. So, then we'll come back to the beginning and we'll loom up this bottom band here. So now everything is loomed. So now we can put our hook in here and take this off. Here we have the start of it. Now for closing it, let's see how it looks. Um, to close it, I try and make um, them kind of connect together. So if I twist this around, you can see that these yellow bands, they could fit right in between the bands on my hook already. So what I'm going to do is hold this between my fingers. I'm going to remove the first three bands from my hook, which is a perimeter and then part of the middle color. Stick it through these two yellow bands and then stick it back on my hook, the other end. So that's part of making it cohesive. Now we'll take um, whatever your color is for this border band. Take a band and pull it through everything on your hook. Like so. And then the last thing is that it still wouldn't be connected to the next um, border piece here. So what I'm going to do is actually take it off my hook for a second. And I want to come back in from the other way. So put this back on my hook. And then I'm going to stick it up through the bands here put the other end back on and then pull this through both bands and just give it a little tug and then you'll want to 
kind of move it to the inside of the basket. Um, it's not perfect, but it definitely helps with the going together so it doesn't look like it's separate. So I'll give that a little tug because um, this is holding the other bands apart or together. Um, then we have to connect here. You can do a um, C-clip or I'm just going to use another white band and to get this on the way I want I'm going to go through right under the handle here into I think this is the end cap pull a band through just so it's kind of through there then stick a band, stick my hook through the white part over here. Grab that band I pulled through, pull it through over here. Um, just get them both on your hook, and you can see how it closes that way. So I'm just going to tie this tight for now. So, and then I tuck these ends in. Um, the handle is pretty thick, so um, I can tuck these into the handle. Um, you could actually, on the inside of the basket, pull this band down to the bottom, which is what I think I'll do, because then I'll incorporate it into, um, I guess it's weaving my ends in, in crochet, is what it would amount to. But I'm just going to kind of go through a couple bands and pull it down, maybe. You don't have to do this. I'm sure that there's lots of ways that you can decide how to do this. And I'm actually going to um, loop these together. So, you can have your basket like this, which looks pretty fabulous, regardless. Okay, so I'm just going to close this with a little bit of zigzag stitching. So what we're going to do is, um, this is the right side of the basket out here. And what I'm going to do is just take my hook. And this is kind of an annoying tail that's in my way, but I'll weave it in later. What I'm going to do is stick my hook, kind of squish the basket in half, and then I'm going to stick my hook in underneath both water loops like this on one side. And I'm going to take a band, put on my hook, pull it through there, put the other end on and pull it tight and I'm going to go across stick my hook up through the other side put a band on sorry that one's in the way put a band on pull it through both loops that my white border loop and then this one we just attached. And I'll put the other end back on my hook and then I'll pull this one out of my way again and pull tight. And then I'll just kind of turn my work around. So now I'm on this side. I'm going to go across, stick my hook in underneath this side. pull it through, put a band on, pull it through both loops again, put this on, then tighten it up, then turn back the other way, stick my hook on the next stitch over, put a band on, pull it through, 
put the band back on and pull tight. And you just keep repeating this till you run out of room. So the next stitch, put my hook through, put a band on, pull it through all the bands, put this end on, and pull that through, pull tight, turn around and go to the other side. Pull through, put that end on, pull tight, turn your work again, go back to the other side, put a band on, pull it through both loops, put that side on, pull tight, turn around, Put it through the next stitch, put a band on, pull through, make it tight, and then we have a few more we can do. So the next stitch over, we'll turn back the other way. Band on, pull through, pull tight, and I'll probably do one more. So I have one that I won't have anything through, but that's okay. There isn't really enough room there anyways. Pull tight. Like that. And then we'll tuck this end up inside the basket. Actually, pull that other one through too. Trying to get these out of the way. And then once you give this little stretch, it's kind of a zigzag pattern to close it. When you give it a little stretch, it gives it a nice kind of round bottom. It's not perfect, of course, but um, it's definitely effective for closing the basket, so and it's kind of, it looks pretty nice, I think. Um, I probably did a little bit better job on this one over here, but I think these are smaller bands, and that's why it kind of did that. So that is how you can close it. Um, you can also do the Easter grass, um, or you can just pinch it together and kind of wrap the band through. It's really up to you. So... That is my one of my last tutorials for uh, my baskets. I think I have enough now. So I thank you for watching, and hopefully you've enjoyed some of my little baskets and the variations that you can make. So I appreciate it, and I will have more tutorials for you soon.